Hi everyone, my name is Adam and I'm AWS Solutions Architect at Stormy. In this video, we will explore how the CloudFront SaaS Manager can simplify the delivery of multi-tenant SaaS applications. If you are running a SaaS platform with many customers' domains, this tool can save you a lot of time and effort by automating and centralizing key parts of the setup. So let's take a look. Uh, I will start with a little introduction if of this future feature and then I will go through a real demo in AWS console and I will show you what I got there which, which is really interesting if you never use this uh, feature or just trying to find out what it does it should really help you to understand what, what it can bring to SaaS products and SaaS providers. So let's start with key features of this CloudFront SaaS Manager. It's mainly to centralize configuration management to one or more multi-tenants CloudFront distributions. It utilizes something called templates, so you are able to manage something which would normally mean that you need to create many CloudFront distributions in one place. It's connected to something what is called tenants. I will go through that in the console. What is great about this and what it brings is the TLS certificate handling is separated by every tenant. So if you need to have like 500 domains under one CloudFront distribution, it's now possible because you will be able to create 500 certificates, 500 certificates separated to your tenants and then use them. This is really great and I think this is one of the best features. What is also connected with is a security control for every one of these tenants. So for example, if you need to separately tell which of those tenants can access it from where in, in the world, for example, the countries or IPs or whatever, it's now possible uh, thanks to this separation. So all of this is like a multi-tenant support. I don't think this feature is intended for someone who right now only needs one distribution, only has one uh, domain, only has one origin. This is mainly to those that were previously needed to create multiple origins, multiple certificates, multiple CloudFront distributions for one origin. Uh, so let's go a little bit deeper. Uh, who should benefit from this? As I said, mainly I think SaaS providers with specific domains, but also without this, if they have only one domain, it's still possible to use some of those features. Also web development platforms uh, to efficiently handle content delivery for many, many clients. And also what I have seen also in the past and had actual issues with multi-CMS platforms that use, for example, one EC2 instance uh, that provides a connection to 50, 100, thousands of websites uh, through, through one domain. Uh, or more than one domain. And that's the pro where the problems mainly starts. Currently, this is supports 10K tenants, but I have heard this should grow uh, and you are probably able to change this number if you, you have to. Uh, but right now the base is 10K of these domains, tenants, or how, how to call it. Uh, I want to go through, mainly here, I want to go through a demo in AWS console so you can set it up yourself. Or if you need some help, just let us know and our team is prepared to help you with the CloudFront and everything around it. So let's go to the console and start there. So I'm in the AWS console and let's look what I have here. Uh, first, uh, I already have prepared Lambda function that will do some computing and I have a code there that will decide which tenant is uh, connecting to this to this lambda function. I don't use API gateway. Uh, actually, I will use only the URL uh, because it was much more simple for me to set it up. Uh, 
Uh, as you can see, we will set up a jack, jacks up and chains up. It's really simple. But basically, you can do this uh, on any other origin. You could use also S3, uh, for example, with some folders uh, or paths. Uh, and, and also application load balancer with EC2 or any other origin outside of AWS behind this multi-tenant CloudFront distribution. But for the intentions of, uh, of this demo, it's much easier to use Lambda. And I will then create our multi-tenant distribution. So let's go to CloudFront and let's create a CloudFront distribution. Uh, you can also find all of those multi-tenant distributions here, but I think it's much easier to just create a distribution and select multi-tenant architecture, uh, which is real simple. There is a new wizard here, so let's go through it. I will just name it like uh, multi-app multi or whatever uh, shared certificate we don't need to use uh, in some cases it could be useful uh, because you could share one certificate you don't have to add any additional to the actual tenants under the cloud phone distribution so in this case let's not use it uh, our origin will be other uh, and it will be the Lambda function. So let's go back to Lambda. Uh, so I will just write Lambda here and go to Lambda uh, to, the, to the configuration uh, and find the, find the URL of this function. So let's, let's go here. I will copy the URL. I will go back. Uh, it will be custom origin and I will remove all of this uh, additional stuff here. So it's only the domain of Lambda. Origin path, uh, we will need that to, to separate the, the actual tenant. So let's create a new parameter, uh, which will be our tenant. So it will be only like this. It's a required parameter and create the parameter. Here you have to add slash uh, at the beginning, so it's a simple path. Here's also a simple picture that shows you, in our case, instead of customer, we will have path or tenant, and uh, here it will be a Jack and Jane. Uh, so just so you know that, that there is a simple picture if you don't understand. Uh, we don't need to use WAF, I will talk about it a little bit later. Uh, so let's let's do this and create the distribution. It will take some time till this the distribution will be actually deployed, but we can start creating our tenants, which is real easy. You will find it under the multi-tenant distribution in this tab and click on create distribution tenant. And as we know, our first tenant will be Jack. And this is our multi-tenant distribution. And check, it will be on stormy.link domain. And he will have this domain. This is his domain. It, this is very specific to, to this new CloudFront multi-tenant distribution. Because previously, uh, on normal CloudFront distributions, it was not possible to add this like this. I, I think there were some solutions to add multi multiple domains uh, you could add them to one certificate but in this case it's much more simplified and as i said before if you want to manage 10,000 distributions it's much more simple because you will have only one distribution and 10,000 tenants un under it uh, so my first is check so let's create a uh, checks value also uh, this is the parameter that I have created, so this is not something what is already prepared here, just so you know. Uh, you could have also more than one parameters here, uh, but our is only one, so it's simple and it's Jack for this uh, distribution tenant. 
And here is the part that is also really interesting because this is the part with WAF. They, they call it Web Uckle, which is a part of uh, Web Application Firewall. So Jack could be using different Web Application Firewall rules than Jane. And this is also really interesting and useful. Uh, what, what I just want to say, uh, previously it was not possible to do this like this again. Uh, what is also great, you can also check, for example, is the from US and chain is from EU and you want to uh, do some geo restrictions. So nobody from other countries than Jack or chain could could connect. You can do this under one cloud from distribution again. So these are really specific. I don't want to go uh, too deep in these. If you don't know web application firewall, uh, I will put some useful links under this video. Uh, so check check this out if you if you want to understand what the firewall could do for you. Uh, geo restrictions are much more simple, and this is a actual like a cloud front feature, not web application firewall feature. So let's go next and create this distribution tenant, which is Jack. So I have prepared Jack. Actually, uh, before what I already have prepared is also a DNS pointed to this cloud from distribution. So if you are going through this demo with, uh, with me or trying it also, don't forget to add this under your domain. I already have it. It doesn't matter which DNS you use. You just need to use CNAME record in your DNS uh, service. I have used root route 53, which is AWS service, but you can use any other. It doesn't matter. There is no, no specific function in the DNS that would uh, stop you from using this. So just so you know, I have prepared this before, so our domain should work after this right away, but don't forget to add this into the, your DNS. Uh, I will create another tenant, so we have two right away, and this will be our Jane. She will use the same cloud from distribution, which is really simple and great. And she will also use other domain, which is also great, because again, if I would have 10,000 users with 10,000 domains, they could create this automatically in some uh, some GUI, and I, I could just do that behind with CLI or, or CDK, whatever you use for the infrastructure as a code. Uh, and click on next and value for Jane again will be like her name. So in this case, it will be chain. Uh, this adds the part that will be shown to the Lambda function. Again, this I don't need. So let's create a, this distribution. And again, I already like verified and added this uh, chain domain. Uh, so it, it should work. The DNS is already prepared there. So again, if you need and going through with me, just don't forget it. And if you have any problems with the certificate also, you need to create the certificate in, in North Virginia region. Uh, because global is not visible, but North Virginia, North Virginia region is used by CloudFront. So create a certificate there. Uh, okay, so we should be prepared. Uh, I will go back uh, to CloudFront and just let's see if it's already deployed and it seems so. Uh, so everything is here ready for, for it. Uh, I already have these two domains connected. So let's try to hit Jack. Uh, and as you can see, we got hello from Jack's app, which is great. This is the like what the Lambda actually does, but also CloudFront because without the paths and everything would be set and the tenants and parameters, it wouldn't be possible. And chain.stormit.io is the same thing. 
Uh, it should work, I think, because we already connected the DNS. So we got welcome to Jane's app. So that's great. We we are ready and set. Uh, so just a little going to what we have right now, why it works. Uh, we prepared the multi-tenant distribution with Jane and Jack. We have to set the parameter, which is the tenant parameter that is actually added like here you don't see it but it's added here by by cloudfront and then it's hidden uh it works because our our lambda function is prepared for it our lambda functions knows that there is something in the path and actually checks for it and checks if there is jack or jane uh so i think that's all uh if you will need to set it up for different kind of architecture totally different like with s3 or with ec2 with load balancers you can contact us uh, we are ready to help as you can see uh here it's kind of simple but i understand whenever it goes to thousands of users it can be different so just just let us know and we are ready to help so that's all. If you are interested in using CloudFront SaaS Manager or want help with scaling your SaaS solutions in AWS, feel free to reach out. Visit, visit us at stormit.cloud or drop us an email at info at We are happy to help.